Powered by Ford. Hey guys, it's Shannon Morse from Hack5 again, coming to you from CES 2012, and I have found one of my favorite companies in the world, MakerBot. Yeah, so what's up, Bree? How's it going? Thank you for joining me. Hey, great to have you over here. Uh, we got some cool stuff to show you. Yeah, so I heard you have a brand new robot program over here, this little guy. But first, tell me, what is MakerBot? Because a lot of people haven't heard of you guys yet. So what is it? Okay, let me break it on down. A MakerBot is a, is a machine that can make you anything you need. So if you, need, if you break something, you can fix it by making a replacement on your MakerBot, or you can make toys. Never buy another Christmas present or birthday present again, and give it, you know, give it to your kids, and they'll be able to have better jobs in the future because they'll have the, 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 the tools of tomorrow. Okay, so next time my boyfriend, or my birthday is coming up, my boyfriend just has to buy me, like, uh, he just has to get me one of these guys, and I can make my own necklace instead of having him buy me a new <laughs> one from the jewelry store. Yes, exactly. And this is the machine to do it. It's, uh, we've got, we're, we're just so excited, because this machine has three things that are awesome. It can make giant things, like this companion cube, which is like, it's, you can make things the size of a loaf of bread with this machine. This is square, so it's a little shorter than a loaf of bread. What are the full dimensions of it that it can make? It's nine by six by six. It's about nine by six by six inches, so boom. And then the other big thing is you can make things in color. So we've got, you can make things with two colors. And then the other big deal for us is up until now, when you're gonna make your bot, you have to put it together. No more. Now you, when you're gonna make your bot, it comes to you with just a little minimal assembly. You pop on the extruder, it snaps on, and bam, you're ready to start printing. I don't have to make my maker bot. I just, it just comes out of the box and it's ready to go? Yeah, it, and for us, this is kind of a big step for us because our community has been really focused on the DIY, you know, kind of Heathkit style community, and now we're breaking out. We've got a consumer device that, you know, your grandma can get and, and, know, and, and actually be able to use. So how easy is it for me to build, say, I want to do like a unicorn model? Is, are there downloadable models that I can use? So you go to Thingiverse.com, which is where our community shares their digital designs, and you search unicorn, and I think there's a couple unicorns on Thingiverse. There might be another kind of a corn <laughs> as well. But, and then you just click, you click on the file name, you download it, you load it into our software, Replicator G, and you press go. And the machine leaps into life and starts, it starts drawing a picture in plastic and lifts up and draws another one. And layer by layer, it'll build up your unicorn for you. Now, how much do like the applications and the software cost? Well, uh, all free. We're open source. We're, we're, in fact, all the designs for the machine are available as well. So if you're the kind of person who likes hacking or improving things, do it. Give it back to the community and everybody benefits. That is exactly what our audience loves and strives and needs. They love things that are do-it-yourself, hacking and modding, and even like the models. That's perfect. I'm going to give this back to you. So are these recyclable or anything like that? So ABS is recyclable, and PLA, which is what this is made of, is actually biodegradable. So I would never put this, I would never put this in a compost pile, because it's my companion cube. But uh, if, you, if you, for some reason, hated your companion cube, and wanted to put it, you could put it in the compost pile and it would eventually become plant food. Well, hopefully nobody does that to this one because, okay, I'll, I'll leave it with you. You can keep it. Now, one last question. How much does it cost and when is it coming out? So, we launched on Monday. So, we started taking orders on Monday. We've got about, we said six weekly time. We're going to try and beat that. And it's $17.49 for the single extruder kit. So if you're just going to print one color, you can get that. If you want to print two colors, it's $19.99 for the dual extrusion model. So for under 2000 bucks, I can get my own MakerBot. Do it. Get it today. You know, the apocalypse is coming. you got to be ready. That's true. It is 2012. And I'm coming to you from CES 2012. You can find all of our Revision 3 coverage, including the Maker MakerBot, over at revision3.com slash CES. Hey, where can people find more information on this guy? Go check it out at makerbot.com and cruise all the things that you can make at thingiverse.com. Awesome. Thank you so much, Bree. Thank you so much for making me check out this MakerBot replicator. This is awesome. Pound it. Oh. All right. Thank you, <laughs> Ford, for powering our CES coverage. 
In the 2013 Ford Mustang, selectable e-pass allows the driver to choose between normal, comfort, and sport modes to change steering effort required and road force feeling. And advanced track electronic stability control gives you four options of traction control. Thanks to Ford for our CES coverage.